hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today this video is going to be about azure devops where we will learn about one mini tip you could say that sometimes what happen is that when you are working with some uh, tool like azure devops or uh, github so generally uh, sometimes by mistake we push certain changes into our branches and uh, then we feel that it is not required and we want to delete that change or we want to delete that commit right so how to delete that commit but uh, not in terms of directly removal of that history from your uh, removal of that changes or removal of that commit from your uh, repo but keeping the history intact but also you can revert the changes directly from the azure devops so we will learn about that okay so for example let me go to one of the repos and uh, in uh, sometimes back i think uh, we have learned about uh, certain commands of get if you have not watched that you can watch that and you can learn about that certain uh, git commands as well okay so now as you can see that this is my repo called git squash and here we have uh, one branch called main branch okay so if you want to see the commits uh, in this main branch you can see that currently these two commits are there okay so what we will do is that i'll go to the files and i open this and let's say i'll click on edit and let's say i want to uh, make some changes into it right like this okay and now you can see that as soon as i made any change here two buttons are currently coming up one is the revert button and one is the commit button so for example if i directly uh, click revert from here it will not do anything it will just discard my change and you can see that nothing has happened from the history perspective of this file right if you want to see the commit section my two original commits are there there is no new change has been introduced in the file right but now what we can do is that for example i can push here like 1 minus 1 0 and then i push this change which i'm doing in my file uh, by clicking commit button or by if you're working with some tool uh, with some commands to push your changes directly from the vs code to the to the devops that you can do so but after this uh, when you click on commit it will be uh, available in the commit section like this updated test right now okay so this commit is already become a part of my main and my file also have this change okay so it's just a few a very simple example but certain uh, times you make so many changes in multiple files okay not only in just one file under one commit only so for example this is the commit where you make so many changes under uh, uh, so many files okay so how to revert that commit okay so that to reverse the impact of all the new changes which you push to the main branch we will see that how we can easily do that stuff directly from the azure devops no need for any command based tool no need to remember any command right so the thing is just click on the commit okay select the branch in which your uh, wrong commit is placed and click on that commit so for example this my my this commit is wrong enough and i need to reverse this so i just click on this commit and now you can see here just click these three dots and here you will see this option called revert so this revert will do the same thing which we have seen uh, while making the changes in our file right so for example i click on this revert and now you can see that it is giving me this uh, option that revert the changes of this commit in a target branch so the target branch will be my main and topic branch name required so what it will do it will create a new branch okay with this name or you can change and give it your uh, name accordingly but uh, it is as per your wish but what will happen is that it will create a new branch 
push the changes of the reversal of uh, this uh, change or the code which you have done okay and create a pr pull request for to the main branch okay so what i can do is i can click on revert and uh, now you can see that it has created a new pull request from this branch which is a temporary branch into main okay and if you see the files you can see that this file uh, in which we made this change 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 okay it is now uh, showing as deleted minus means that it is now deleted this line will not be available after this PR get completed right so you can understand that in case you have thousands of files or hundred of files available in which you made some wrong changes so system will automatically detect your change which you have done from the last commit and automatically delete or reverse those changes uh, directly you don't need to do anything manually okay so okay you just come into the overview and if you want to add any reviewer or if you want to add link any work item you can do so okay then just click on create okay so this is uh, something is there and i need to complete it uh, with rebase and fast forward option and of course delete this branch as i told you that this branch is a temporary branch which is uh, not at all required for my repository okay so i just check this box as well and just click on complete merge and now it just simply it is now merging the changes to the main and it gets completed and that's it now if you want to go to the branches section you can see that that temporary branch is gone okay and if you want to go to the commit section here you can see that system has created a new commit on the top of that wrong commit and if you click on this commit you can see that your change which you have done in the wrong commit is now completely reversed if you want to see in the file section again you can see that uh, your original scenario original changes are there that wrong changes are now removed from your file right but in this way you can see that complete history is maintained by the devops where uh, there is no breakage in between that uh, you have pushed something and then you have deleted this and that's how mm, it's not a part of your history which is uh, sometimes uh, not uh, correct because some companies really want to maintain the complete history of your changes which you are doing under your branches right so in this way you can easily maintain so please understand we have revert the commit we have not deleted or dropped the commit right so uh, this is uh, very much uh, easy from the devops perspective from the gui side perspective because you don't need to remember any command and you can directly do so from the devops uh, of course you need some permissions because if you are working under uh, the company environment and you need some permissions approvers then only you need to do the same okay so that's all which i wanted to share in this today's video uh, uh, i hope if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video